It is time for our first quarterfinal match. Who will move on to the semifinals? Will it be the Dragons of Brunswick High School? <laughs> or the Red Storm of Scarborough High School? Find out next on High School Quiz Show Maine. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by the Helen and George Ladd Charitable Corporation, the Lincoln and Therese Filene Foundation, Plots Associates, Bernstein Schur, and by Take a moment and change your life. Join a Maine credit union. At a credit union, you're an owner, and a credit union gives back to its owners. Contact your local Maine credit union. It's your moment. Own it. Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life. As parents, friends, and teammates, Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility part of your community. With Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare, you get more than a health plan. You get a partner. With benefits built around local needs, they're helping communities across Maine get healthier and happier. Visit harvardpilgrim.org to learn more. And by viewers like you. Thank you. Welcome to High School Quiz Show Maine. I'm Shannon Moss. We have narrowed 16 teams down to eight in our quest to find this year's champion, who will then move on to compete in the High School Quiz Show Invitational against the champions of WGBH's High School Quiz Show, Rhode Island PBS's High School Quiz Show Rhode Island, and New Hampshire's PBS's Granite State Challenge. Now, in our first quarterfinal match, we have Scarborough, who defeated Oceanside, and Brunswick, who won in their match against Edward Little. Before we begin, we always want to get a chance to meet our players. So for Scarborough, we have Ian, John, Lena, Eric, with alternates Cooper and Will, and coached by Shane Davis. And for Brunswick, we have Logan, Daniel, Micah, Luke with alternates Leo and Maggie, and they are coached by Keith Hart and Chris Tucker. And we also have Judge Angela Absher helping us out today. Angela, always a pleasure to see you. The competition has four rounds. We have a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. And we're going to start with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. Players must wait for me to complete the question, and if one team answers incorrectly, the other team will get a chance to answer. All right, so players, is everybody ready? Now let's get started. American frontiersman Davy Crockett was killed during 1836 battle at what now famous San Antonio landmark. Micah. The Alamo. Correct. The novels Misery, Carrie, and The Shining were written by what author and Maine native? Luke. Stephen King. Correct. Measuring 3,020 miles, I-90, the longest interstate highway in the U.S., stretches from Boston to what coastal city in the Pacific Northwest? Ian. Seattle. Correct. What organ in the human body has specialized cells for producing electricity called pacemaker cells? It's the heart. What system of writing that means sacred carving was used in ancient Egypt? John. Hieroglyphics. That's right. Meaning large O, what is the 24th and last letter of the Greek alphabet? Daniel. Omega. That's right. Sitting on the Dock of the Bay was the first posthumous single to hit number one on Billboard's Hot 100 Singles chart. Who recorded it just days before he died in a plane crash in 1967? Luke. Otis Redding. That's the right answer. Santiago is the capital city of what South American nation? Luke. Chile. That's right. Up, up next is a video question. Take a look at your monitor. Hello, I'm Alec O'Mara from Unitil. Sometimes, under great heat and pressure, rock does not melt, but instead undergoes physical and chemical changes while remaining solid. What is the term for these changes? 
Lena. Metamorphosism. That is the right answer. What Greek god or revelry is associated with the Roman god Bacchus? Daniel. Dionysus. That's the right answer. With more than 82 million people, what country has the highest population in Western Europe? Luke. England. That is incorrect. Scarborough. Eric. Germany. It is Germany. The little blue penguin, the smallest of all penguin species, is native to Australia and what neighboring country in the South Pacific? John. New Zealand. New Zealand is the right answer. Latin for cloud, what huge cloud of dust and gas is called the birthplace of the stars? Eric. Nebula. Nebula is the right answer. All right, we have a math question for you. Solve this equation for x. 4x minus 8 equals 0. Daniel. x equals 2. x equals 2 is the correct answer. Who was president of the United States when the Panama Canal was effectively completed on October 10, 1913? Daniel. Wilson. Woodrow Wilson's the right answer. Invented by an Italian scientist in the 1600s, what device measures atmospheric pressure? Lena. Barometer. That's the right answer. Constituting nearly one-sixth of Canada's total land area, what is the largest Canadian province by size? Eric. Nunavut. Nunavut. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Brunswick? Logan. Is it Ontario? It's Quebec. Quebec is the answer. Both judo and its forerunner, jiu-jitsu, are derived from what ancient form of wrestling that's considered the national sport of Japan? Lena. Sumo wrestling. You got it. All right, look at your monitor right now for our picture question. This statue depicts U.S. Marines raising the American flag after what World War II battle against the Japanese that took the lives of more than 6,800 American servicemen? Logan. Iwo Jima. That's right. In Louisa May Alcott's novel, Little Women, the March family, like Alcott's own family, has how many daughters? Eric. Six. That's incorrect. Brunswick? Logan? Uh, five. It's four. Four is the answer. Which of the following events in 18th century American history occurred first? Shays Rebellion, Pontiac's War, or the Boston Tea Party? Logan. Boston Tea Party. That is incorrect. Eric? Shays' Rebellion. It's Pontiac's War. Unable to get over being jilted by her fiance, what wealthy spinster wears a wedding dress every day of her life in Great Expectations by Charles Dickens? Eric. Ms. Havisham. That's the right answer. Claimed by the United Kingdom, Chile and Argentina, the South Shetland Islands are located off the coast of what continent? Eric. Antarctica. That's right. In 1967, in South Africa, Dr. Christian Barnard performed the first human transplant of what organ? Eric. Liver. That is incorrect. Brunswick? Logan. The heart. It is the heart. Math question. What is the smallest positive multiple of four that is both a perfect square and a perfect cube. Micah. Uh, 64. That is the right answer. Known for its short, powerful TED Talks on almost all subjects, from science to business to global issues, the nonprofit TED stands for technology, entertainment, and what? Micah. Design. Design is the right answer. Meaning in relation to or compared with, what phrase literally means face to face in French? Lena. That is incorrect. Brunswick? Micah. Uh, Ted. Ted. Vis a vis. In 1215, under threat of civil war, England's King John was forced to sign what document known as the Great Charter? Daniel. The Magna Carta. That's the right answer. At nearly seven miles deep, the Mariana Trench is the deepest place on Earth. It is located in what ocean? Ian. Pacific Ocean. That's the right answer. Which of the four terrestrial planets has the thinnest atmosphere? Luke. Mercury. You got it. On July 26, 2002, the U.S. House of Representatives voted to create what new cabinet department? John. Homeland Security. That's right. Nathaniel Hawthorne's novel, The House of Seven Gables, was inspired by an actual gabled house in what New England town? Daniel. Salem. That's the right answer. And that is the buzzer. That ends round one. Scarborough with 120 points. Brunswick with 150. We got a great game, a great start to our first quarterfinal match. And we'll chat with the players, get to know them a little bit when we come back.
are down, the power is down, but you're not powerless. The mobile app from Safety Insurance can help you file a claim. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Our head to head round is coming right up, but first we want to take a few minutes to get to know our players a little bit. So as always, we have a question for each of you and we're going to start with Ian. If you were selected to participate in the Hunger Games, which of your strengths would you rely on to survive and why? I guess I'd say my speed and my stealth so then I can run and hide. There you go. All right, John. Um, I'm pretty good at climbing trees, so I'd probably climb a tree and just like camp out there. Hang out. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, Lena. I would rely on my logical thinking and problem solving to think my way out of any situation. Fantastic. Eric? Uh, I would also use my methodical way of thinking to outsmart my opponent's moves. All right. Guys got a good team right there. All right, Logan? I would use my abilities with the Carrick to harvest a lot of grain and then <laughs> negotiate with fellow uh, participants for weapons and whatnot. Okay. I'd like to be a fly on the wall there. All right, Daniel? Um, one of my greatest strengths is my reading ability. So I would read The Hunger Games and then figure out how to win. <laughs> and then watch the movie, right? I'm not right. big on movies. <laughs> Micah? I, I can snap with all of my fingers. There you go. Not many people can do that. All right, Luke? I think my greatest asset would be my, my skill in the game Manhunt, as it would allow me to remain hidden in the forest. Oh, I like it. Camouflage. All right, excellent. And while we get the team in place for our head-to-head -head round, let's see how well you do in the Maine's Credit Union's Question of the Week. Hi, I'm Jake Holmes from Maine's Credit Unions. We'll go back to high school quiz show Maine in a moment, but first, let's see how you do on this week's Question of the Week. In 2017, which two U.S. coins cost more to produce than their face value was worth? Your choices are the penny, the nickel, the dime, and the quarter. Pick two and stay tuned for the answer later in the show. We are about to go head to head. We've got Brunswick on my left, Scarborough on my right. You guys want to shake hands? All right. In this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers will cost you 10 points. You don't have to wait for the buzzer, though. You can buzz in at any time. So let's get that clock set at 90 seconds. And here we go. How many justices sit on the U.S. Supreme Court? Yes, Scarborough. Nine. That's right. What language is the most widely spoken form of Chinese? Scarborough. Mandarin. That's right. What U.S. state forms the western border of New Mexico? It is Arizona. What metal is the chief constituent of the Earth's core? Scarborough. Iron. Yes, that's right. In 1783, at the end of the American Revolution, Great Britain ceded Florida to what country? The answer is Spain. In professional soccer, if a player receives a second yellow card in the game, what color penalty? Yes. Good. That is right. Rogers and Hammerstein musical, Once Upon a Mattress, is based on what Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale? Uh, Princess and the P is the answer. What American president was called the Great Communicator? Ronald Reagan. Yes, that's right, Brunswick. Ronald Reagan. Madagascar and Sri Lanka are island nations in what ocean? Scarborough. Indian. That's right. What branch of medicine deals with skin disorders? Scarborough. Dermatology. That's the right answer. In the 1960s, who poked fun at high art with his replicas of Brillo soap pad boxes? Uh, Andy Warhol. A haiku poem written in English typically that has how many lines? Brunswick. Seven. Uh, it, three is the answer. New England is a region that compromises. New England is a region that comprises how many U.S. states? Scarborough. Six. Six is the correct answer. England's Henry VIII and Elizabeth I belong to what royal house? The Tudors is the answer, and that is the buzzer. Scarborough has 190 points. Brunswick with 150. It's really anyone's game. I tell you, this is getting exciting. Our category round is coming up next. Stay with us, everyone. Next up is the category round with the following choices. Say anything to infinity and beyond, hot rocks, Cuba Libre, take it to the bridge, and echo chamber. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. And players, you must wait for me to finish the question before you can buzz in. Now remember, you can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, you can no longer confer and we're going to need your answer. And like in the toss-up round, if one team answers incorrectly, then the other team will get a chance to answer. All right, Brunswick, you're a little bit behind, so you get to choose first. What category? 
Say anything for 10. All right, say anything for 10 points. This is category is questions about foreign words and phrases. Commonly used to refer to a spoiled, ill-tempered person, what two-word phrase means first lady in Italian? <phone rings> Lena. Prima donna. That's the right answer. All right, Scarborough, what do you think? Uh, let's continue with say anything. All right, say anything for 15 points. What two-word French phrase that means false step refers to a mistake or a social blunder? <phone rings> Daniel. Faux pas. That's correct. And Brunswick, you have control of the board. Um, say anything for 20. Say anything for 20 points. Roughly translated as I bow to the God within you, what ancient Sanskrit word widely used a greeting in India is said at the end of most yoga practices? <phone rings> Eric. Namaste. Namaste. Yes, absolutely. All right, where are we going? Uh, say anything. Say anything for 25 points. Superstition holds that seeing one of these is an omen of impending death. What German word means a ghostly double or look-alike? <phone rings> Eric. Doppelganger. That's correct. What do you think? Uh, I've finished say anything. All right, say anything for 30 points, which wraps up this category. Swedish for commission man. What word refers to a government official who investigates complaints about public services? <phone rings> Ombudsman is the answer. Scarborough, you still have control of the board. Uh, we'll move to Hot Rocks. Hot Rocks for 10 points. This is a new category, questions about volcanoes. When a volcano erupts, the resulting explosion shoots magma out into the atmosphere or onto the Earth's surface. At this point, the magma becomes known as what? <phone rings> Lena. Lava. That is the right answer. What do you think? What did you, where would you like to go? Uh, hot Rocks again, please. Hot Rocks for 15 points. Known as Europe's ticking time bomb, what active volcano in Italy has erupted many times since 79 AD? <phone rings> Eric. Vesuvius. That's right. What do you think? Uh, do you hot rocks. Go? All right, we're going to continue with hot rocks. This is for 20 points. What bowl-shaped volcanic depression is named after the Spanish word for cauldron? <phone rings> Micah. Caldera. That's right. And now, Brunswick, you have control of the board. Uh, hot rocks. All right, hot rocks for 25 points. From the Greek meaning weak sphere, what highly viscous, mechanically weak region below the lithosphere is where most magma is produced? <phone rings> it's the asthenosphere. All right, Brunswick, you still have control. Hot rocks again. All right, hot rocks for 30. We're going to wrap up this category. Three times taller than Mount Everest, Olympus Mons is the tallest known volcano in the solar system. It's located on what planet? Ian. Mars. That's right. Scarborough, where'd you like to go? Uh, let's try Cuba Libre. All right. Cuba Libre. New category. Questions about Cuba during the Cold War. After U.S. businesses in Cuba were nationalized without compensation, what U.S. president broke off diplomatic ties and imposed a trade embargo in October 1960? <phone rings> Logan. Kennedy. That is incorrect. Scarborough, you want to take a shot at it? <phone rings> Oh, I'm sorry, that was not in time. It was Dwight D. Eisenhower. Who has control of the board? Scarborough, yes. We'll try Cuba Libre again. All right, Cuba Libre for 15 points. In 1961, the U.S. backed a failed invasion by Cuban exiles at what isolated spot on the island's southern shore? <phone rings> Eric. Bay of Pigs. That's right. Where'd you like to go now? Cuba Libre. All right, we're going to continue on with this category. This question is for 20 points. For more than two decades, the U.S. plotted against Fidel Castro, most famously in an assassination attempt that included which of the following? Exploding cigars, poisoned rum, or ricin-tipped umbrellas? <phone rings> Micah. Poisoned cigars. Uh, uh, exploding cigars, sorry. That is good. You've got it. Okay, okay Brunswick. Uh, we would like Cuba Libre, please. All right. For 25 points, what U.S.-backed dictator was overthrown during the 1959 Cuban Revolution? Uh, Valencio Baptista. And Brunswick, you still have control. Uh, we would like Cuba Libre again, please. All right, for 30 points, and that wraps up this category. The Cuban Missile Crisis ended when the Soviet Union agreed to remove its missiles from Cuba in return for the withdrawal of U.S. missiles from what country? <phone rings> Ian. Turkey. That's right. Scarborough, what do you think? What well, looks good to you? Echo chamber. Echo chamber. Okay, new category. All answers are words that repeat. This question is for 10 points. 
roughly translated as firstborn, what island in French Polynesia was used as a U.S. military base during World War II? Bora Bora is the answer. Okay, Scarborough? All right, we'll try echo chamber again. All right, echo chamber. This question is for 15 points. A View to Kill, the only James Bond theme to ever reach number one in the U.S., was released by what British new wave band? Logan. Duran Duran. That's right. Brunswick, where do you want to go? Uh, infinity and beyond for 10. To infinity and beyond, a new category. Questions about math. This one is for 10 points, this question. What is the greatest common factor of 20 and 16? Luke. Four. That's the answer. What's next? Uh, we'll take Echo Chamber for 20. Echo Chamber, 20 points. What R&B song recorded by the Kingsmen in 1963 is notable for its indecipherable lyrics and for being featured in the film Animal House? Logan. Louie Louie. That's right. We'll have you sing that later, by the way, for extra points. All right, what's next? Echo Chamber for 25. All right, Echo Chamber, 25 points. Our life is frittered away by detail. Henry David Thoreau wrote this in Chapter 2 of Walden, in which he states what two-word motto for leading a happy life. Micah. Carpe diem. That is incorrect. Scarborough, you want to take a shot at it? Uh, simplify, simplify. Brunswick, where do you want to go? You have control of the board. Echo chamber for 30. All right, this wraps up this category. In Gilbert and Sullivan's comic opera, The Mikado, Nanki Poo is a wandering minstrel who is in love with what schoolgirl? Uh. Yum, yum. I didn't know it either. <laughs> All right, Brunswick, where are we going? Infinity for 15. Infinity and beyond for 15. Jimmy invests $500 in the stock market. After 10 years, if his investment is worth 300% of its original cost, how much will it then be worth? Luke. 1,500. That's correct. Where would you like to go now? Uh, we'll take infinity and beyond for 20. All right, to infinity and beyond for 20 points. The wholesale price of a camera is $300. What is the camera's retail cost if the markup is 60%? Micah. Um, $540. That is incorrect. Scarborough? Ian? 480. That is the right answer. Scarborough, what? Oh, and that is the buzzer. Let's take our score. Scarborough with 365 points. Brunswick with 210 points. That ends our category round. Great job to both of our teams. And we're going to see who moves on to the semifinals after the lightning round, where, as we always say, anything can happen. But let's check in the, to the answer in Maine's Credit Union's Question of the Week. Let's see how you did with the Maine's Credit Union's Question of the Week. The question was, in 2017, which two U.S. coins cost more to produce than their face value was worth? Your choices are the penny, the nickel, the dime, and the quarter. The answers are the penny and the nickel. In 2017, a penny cost 1.82 cents to produce, administer, and distribute, while a nickel cost 6.6 .6 cents. They have cost more than their face value worth since 2006. Okay, we are heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay, the lightning round. Players, you can buzz in at any time. You get 20 points for each correct answers, but remember, incorrect answers will cost you 20 points. So let's set that clock and let's go. Which planet is known as both the morning star and the evening star? Logan. Venus. That is right. Badlands National Park and Mount Rushmore are west of the Missouri River in what U.S. state? Ian. South Dakota. That's right. What 14-year-old boy is a narrator of The Outsiders by Essie Hinton? Pony Boy. The Statue of Liberty was a gift to the United States from what country? Logan. France. France is the right answer. What fictional American billionaire is the alter ego of Iron Man? Logan. Tony Stark. That's correct. What nine-letter word refers to the gel-like part of the cell where mitochondria are located? Eric. Cytoplasm. That's the right answer. What capital city is the setting for James Joyce's novel, Ulysses? Ah. Dublin is the answer. The Danube River flows into what sea? Eric. The Black Sea. That's correct. In 1912, who was the Bull Moose Party's presidential candidate? 
Daniel. Theodore Roosevelt. That's right. How many arms appear on the standard image of the Hindu god Vishnu? Logan. Eight. It's four. The degree Celsius, what is the freezing point of fresh water under normal conditions? Luke. Zero. That's correct. Who is elected the leader of the boys at the beginning of the novel, The Lord of the Flies? Micah. Ralph. That's the right answer. What constitutional amendment imposed federal prohibition of alcohol? Eric. 21. 21st. It's the 18th. What present day city was formerly known as Petrograd? And, and that is the buzzer. Our winning team is Scarborough High School with 405 points. They will be moving on to the semifinals in just a few weeks. Wow, Brunswick, what a great game you had today. Thank you so much, both teams, for playing. Congratulations to you both. Really great game. Next week, we will have our second quarterfinal match, and we will see you then. And thanks so much for watching. High School Quiz Show, Maine. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by the Helen and George Ladd Charitable Corporation, the Lincoln and Therese Filene Foundation, Plotz Associates, Bernstein Schur, and by Every day, Maine credit unions give you a new chance to make your money go further so you get ahead faster. Because with a credit union, you own a piece of the pie. Contact your local Maine credit union. It's your moment. Own it. Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life. As parents, friends, and teammates, Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility, part of your community. With Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare, you get more than a health plan. You get a partner. With benefits built around local needs, they're helping communities across Maine get healthier and happier. Visit harvardpilgrim.org to learn more. And by viewers like you. Thank you.